Good morning. This is Milo Boschkova with the daily report from the Eaglob newsroom in Varna. Let's start with our news for today. The Grandma's Project is a new collaborative web documentary which aims to create a repository of short films in which the filmmaker's grandma prepares a traditional recipe and tells more about her roots. Uh, the project uh, intends to strengthen the link between different generations and reflect the changing times. The Grandma's Project is the brainchild of filmmaker of the young filmmaker Jonas Periente, who grew up in a Jewish Egyptian Polish family in Paris, um, and is thus very passionate about issues such as identity, migration, and life-altering historical events. The project was brought to life in 2014 with three short films. Jonas is own about his Egyptian grandma preparing a meat stew, traditional meat stew with Molokia herb, one by Irvin Anu about his French grandma preparing le de poulet or in English eggnog and sharing more about um, her growing up on a farm in a traditional farmer's household and one short piece by Matthias Mangin uh, about his Brazilian grandma who's originally from um, Lebanon preparing Lebanese mehchi stuffed vine leaves and telling more about her own roots about um, growing up in Lebanon her own grandma and the role of men in um, oriental culture the team is working towards gathering 30 submissions for the first season of the Grandma's Project and the rules are simple. Film your own grandma, uh, do one recipe and do it in eight minutes. Of course, the filmmakers can, sh can use their own discretion for all the other elements such as tone and style. Uh, half a year ago, the team concluded, successfully concluded, a Kickstarter campaign which uh, managed to gather 19,500 euros. A major portion of that money will go towards um, the coordination of the post-production of the first 30 short films, which are supposed to come from different parts of the world. And another uh, big portion of that um, amount will go towards creating an interactive website where people can navigate through the ingredients of recipes, uh, through the geographic locations of the grandmas, the languages they speak, and the historical events they have witnessed, whether it is feminism or the Second World War. Uh, and finally, the Grandma's Project is looking to collaborate with international film schools and to apply to UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage Program for sponsorship. So we're expecting to hear and see a lot more from Grandma's Project in the future. This is all for today. If you would like to find out more, please visit eclob.com.